when this mm. came out. I was like, they made a worse, they made a worse sequel than those two. I couldn't believe this. This to me is the worst Matrix sequel, and and just the miscasting. Now, I don't even know what to do with characters. Uh, I mean, having Yahya Abdul Mateen. I'm not saying like he's a bad actor, but what they have him doing wasted his Morpheus. None of the gravitas. Just confused as to why why he's in here. Um, Jonathan Groff is as um, as the new Agent Smith. None of the menace. None of the Mister Anderson. Like uh, Hugo Weaving. Even as ridiculous as he got later on in the franchise. He still stood out. It was personality. Sure. No personality in this movie. A waste of time. Hey, everyone. Double Toasted Live is heading to Florida for two back-to-back -back shows. Gonna be in Miami Thursday, January 20th, and then in Orlando Friday, January 21st. Get your tickets now by going to x1entertainment.com. Super VIP and VIP tickets available right now. And when you do go to get your tickets, we have a very special discount for you for a limited time only. Type in the code DT2022 when you go to x1entertainment.com and get 15% off your ticket price. Also, check out a new merch store at tpublic.com. We have new merch and new designs available right now with many more on the way. Check them out by clicking the link in the description below. Chris. Yes. Let's go ahead. Let's do it. Sorry about the emails, y'all. Know a lot of emails are sent through before these lists. They take a while. It's a lot. Yeah, and so you Sounds know we're gonna go ahead and knock this out. And now it's Chris's turn. We're going Martin's gonna do his on Wednesday because he's got to go through and do his over anyway. And and it's you know, late. It's late. Yeah, yeah, I was gonna say we've already done a lot. Uh, yeah. Let's see here. So let's go ahead and get to your list. Uh, would you like me to announce what you have on your list? Please, you please announce. Please announce. List? Please announce. All right, and then I'll let you talk. All right, people, at number 10 on Chris Herman's list. I'm seeing murders as they're happening. Hello? Gabriel. Oh. He's not Gabriel to me. He's Taters. That's his goddamn name. Taters. Taters, oh, Taters. yeah. What is very, good, very good reason. This you is, never saw Malignant. This is Malignant. It's Malignant. Oh, you never saw it because I... We but, reviewed it. Yeah, yeah. And as and I was going through the list of movies that came out, I was like, uh, Chris Herman has this one covered. Yeah, I got it. Yeah, I'll talk about it. Uh, you know, it's funny. You know, uh, James Wan to me is what I think Tyler Perry is to you, Corey. Ooh. It's like, <laughs> I think, you know, I respect him as a businessman, what he was able to create. Those franchises like yeah. Saw and The Conjuring, but I just, I just don't like those franchises. Oh. Okay. I just don't like those subgenres he indulges in. It's like I know this is not a typical ghost bullshit movie, which he loves to do, mm -hmm. but it still indulges in all those tropes for the first two thirds yes. for an hour and a half. And yes, that last twenty minutes it goes off the rails and we get something thoroughly ridiculous and stupid and, and fun and, and and fun. But I had to sit there for another hour and a half and still go over all the typical ghost stuff that he always does. The haunted house shenanigans i'm done with it You're done? I'm, okay. I'm, I'm done with his whole shtick and so yes i know that this is his homage to italian uh horror to dario gento i'm like I, I i didn't need it so far start out with something that is not on my list mm -hmm. let's see if that continues chris herman's number nine worst movie of 2021 you owe me mike you gave me your word and that used to mean something touch me and i'll kick your asshole man Jesus Christ. Yes, agreed. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yes. Jesus Christ, that's acting? Yeah. Uh, no, Cry to, macho. To, to your point, Martin, um, that the acting in this movie is so bad. Like, the whole premise is... And this is a Clint Eastwood this, this, movie. This, this, is, this is Clint Eastwood starring, directed, and written by... This, this, this film has been in some form of development hell for over, like, 30 years. The whole... This is Clint Eastwood. I'm playing myself in another movie. And it's a father-son story where he has to get to Mexico for to, to get this kid for his former employer. And but that's what it is. It's like okay, you're gonna have that 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 camaraderie between two actors. Like no, they're like I know that you're trying to sell me on a father-son story. You go on this adventure, but never once do you believe in this relationship. The acting from the kid is bad. The acting from Eastwood, uh, Clint Eastwood is bad. It, 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 it is. See, he's playing it as if he's 50. Yeah. But he's, oh, 90, okay. he's 92. He, he's 92. Even from, the, even from the very beginning where Dwight Yoakam is saying to him, I need you to go to Mexico and rescue, bring back my son. 
You're like, you don't know anybody else? Yeah. Maybe somebody who's even 20 years He's got macho, though. He's yeah. macho. This guy's almost 100, and yeah. he's the one you you send out there. <laughs> yeah, his fight scenes. Yeah, he gets the whole, fight scenes? He gets fight scenes, he kicks everyone's ass. <laughs> yeah, he kicks everyone's ass. The, yeah, the, 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 the drug lord that Chris Herman's talking about, she's the hottest chick in the movie. Mm -hmm. He has another romance <laughs> on the way. And, and, and it's a, just like that movie uh, Gran Torino. Yes. Where Is that it, the chick? No, no, no. There's that's another the, one. That's the one. No, no, <laughs> the old, no, no. The one, one. <laughs> when Chris talking about, she's younger. Oh, uh, what? Yeah. yeah. Wait a minute, what? She's yeah. in her thirties. Yeah. yeah. What a thirty-year-old. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I ain't seen this movie. It should have made my she, list. She's got henchmen hanging around, mm -hmm. and she's for sure she's with him, and she's like, "All right, come on back in. Let, 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 let's do this. Let me suck your dick. <laughs> that's what it is. <laughs> so what, you can end up with a mouthful of dust." <laughs> 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 the movie me like but, but like Gran Torino, it's one of those like like Gran Torino is fun except when it focuses on the kids because they're, they're, they're all terrible actors. Yeah, and this is another one where the 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 boy he's awful, okay. and it just kind of ends. Yeah, kind of ends too. Like, I guess right. that's over now. I'll go back all to this right. hot Latina girl. All right, well there you go. Shit, I'm I'm adding into my list. Yeah, I ain't even seen it. retroactively at it. Yeah, go ahead. Actually, there's a movie I might retro retroactively add because I forgot that I had seen it, but mm -hmm. I did. Mm -hmm. All right, well, then let's go to. Ah. Finally hitting a movie that was on my list. Mm -hmm. Your number eight movie for Worst Movie 2021. These are your champions. Chris Herman. For all the things that we said before, it's just a, it's a waste of time. It's boring, takes itself way too seriously. You have a terrible lead actor who has, has no charisma. It's a waste of time. There are other Mortal Kombat films that came out nearly 30 years ago that are better than this. <laughs> or animated films that are better than this. It's like, how could you have sc screwed this up? Yeah. With the money that you had, so yeah, and there's not even a tournament. It's called Mortal Kombat. The whole thing you have a tournament. It's like now it's before the tournament. Yeah, it's a I, I, I just I just don't get it. I don't get it. It's a yeah waste of time. Your yeah, you don't want to talk about this. <laughs> yeah, you like I'm, this movie? I'm, I'm working around. Yeah, I'm trying to get around this one. Yeah, yeah. I don't, I don't want to get into it with you, Chris yeah, Herman. Yeah, 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 I'm about go. to give you a hug. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Are you about to give him a hug? I think so. Yeah. Uh, Choco. <laughs> no, no, no. No. Oh, maybe for this one. So, Chris Herman's number seven yeah. worst movie of 2021. They're faster. They're organized. Army of the Dead, which is a movie that I like, but yes. you did not. No, it's interesting because, you know, Zack Snyder has made one of the great modern day zombie sure. films the last mm -hmm. 20 years in Dawn of mm -hmm. the Dead, you know, remake from George Romero's film. And I think, like, oh, he's going back to his roots. I was excited for this. I'm looking forward to it, despite my misgivings of him as a filmmaker over the last 15 years. But watching this, I'm like, all right, no. <laughs> <laughs> it's overly long. None of the characters are interesting, or they're just versions of other characters from other properties, whether it be aliens or big 80s action films, but they don't have any of the personalities of those characters from those movies. Your concept of time is completely out there. We have 20 minutes to do a task, but you have an hour of screen time left. What are you talking about? It doesn't make any sense. And there, there, there's things within the world. Why are some of the ro zombies robots? Are we going to explain that at all? No? Okay, we're just going to move on. Oh, we're going to explain that in ancillary materials you have to find online. It's like, no, that's just bad writing. That's bad filmmaking. It's a bad zombie movie. I like the action. I, I like some stuff, certain things he did with the zombies. I, I like how dumb it is. And, uh, you know, that's... If I felt like they were being more serious, I know you say get serious in it. If I felt like they were being more serious, I might not like it. But mm. you know, it ended in a dumb way too. So. Yeah, it was yeah. Yeah. a super dumb yeah. way. Yeah. So so I, I, like, like yeah, like you can't count time and you don't know how science works. But also, just the, the premise it sets up. True. I was like, this premise doesn't even make any sense. I mean, I'm willing to go with with goofy or dumb or, or funny. But I was like, you set up a premise that this doesn't even play out in any way. If, if this is what you wanted, why even do any of this other stuff? Everything could just be explained with a conversation. Yeah. Like, if two people yeah. just like, hey, this is what I want. Let's go get that instead of this yeah. MacGuffin. <laughs> right, right, right. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, no, I see what you guys are saying. Mm. I understand. I had a good time with it. Though. Yeah, yeah. A, lot people, a lot it. of people did. Yeah, I even watched it again, and I was like, I'm just having fun with this. Mm. But I understand. Not for everybody. Oh. Yeah. Uh, and this one, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Let's see how long that look, that, that that hug lasts. Oh, I know. <laughs> <you gave me. laughs> I know. No, I, I knew that at the time. 
<laughs> what is this? Let's try that again, shall At number six, Space Jam. A new legacy. Nah, I didn't care about the original legacy either. All right, so people are saying like, oh, you're one of those people that only like the original film. No, the original movie sucks too. <laughs> and this one is just as bad. I can't decide which one is actually worse. Here, this is like, let's just put as many things in the background as possible and we'll let that speak for itself. That's the movie. You know, who cares about being, building a rapport between the tunes and Michael Jordan and his family? It's like, nah, that doesn't, they're there for funny gags. That's what it is. It's like, you could have you made a better film. And they just chose not to. They 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 went the lazy way, and it, it, it's a shame. All right, but I didn't I'd have, like to know. I didn't have high <laughs> well, expectations. Well, I I'll I'll say this about it. I I had fun with it. Mm -hmm. I didn't hate it. Mm -hmm. It's not in my top ten or twenty, or even thirty. Mm -hmm. But I enjoyed it. Yeah. But what you're saying about it. I see what you're saying. Mm -hmm. I won't disagree with you. Okay. I can That's only fair. say that those things didn't bother me as much as they bothered you. Sure. But in bothering you, I can't. I can't defend it. Yeah. Everything you said was correct. Yeah. Also, Porky Pig raps, and that should never. Oh, that's happen. Yeah. That, that, that notorious P I G. Yeah, no, we, we none, <laughs> none of us like that. Yeah. But you know, I mean, even watching the trailer, I was like. Yeah, it, it got way too Ready Player One. It yes, was all about yes. just, it, it's a big flex from Warner Brothers. You're like, hey, look at what we own. I cannot disagree with you with those things you say either. I didn't I didn't like it as much as Martin, but I didn't like, I didn't hate it as much yeah. as you. I actually had fun with it. Oh, I expected see. to hate it and did not. Yeah. You sound like me with Army of the Dead over there. <laughs> <laughs> Who Framed Roger Rabbit is still king. Still well, there's no arguing that. No, that's, Some that's, people argue that Space Jam is just as good. No. Like, oh, no. Who said that? No, no one Corey knows some of those people. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, those Space Jam fanatics. Who said that? I don't, don't want to say no names. I'll, I'll, <laughs> I'll, I'll choke them out when I find them, man. Hell no. No. Who said that shit was better than Roger Rabbit? I want names after this. Yeah. Give me a list. You, you give them up. You must Today. Have the list. At number five Ooh, on Chris's. Top five. The, no, low five. five. Low five, Five, I guess. five. Yeah. The worst fifth movie on Chris's list of 2021. What the hell happened here? The Umbrella Corporation's been experimenting on this town since we were kids. Uh, I never would have thought that I would be in a world where someone would make a Resident Evil movie and it made me miss the Paul Dibbis Anderson films, <laughs> as we said before. <laughs> and the, the thing is about this movie is that it, it, it breaks the cardinal sin. And it's that I shouldn't have to read or play or watch previous materials to understand what the f*** is happening. Sure. When I'm watching this movie, I've played the game. So I, I know what you're referencing, but I'm like... There's no explanation for why there's a liquor. There's no explanation as, as to yeah, why yeah. any of this is happening. Why Lisa's suddenly wandering miles in between the, the, the Resident Evil uh, Spencer mansion and the police. No, that makes sense. You just want to throw up all the references that you love from the previous games and you did in the laziest way possible. And I know that, you know, they said, like, I love the games. It's like, well, clearly not, because none of these characters you had in this movie acted like the characters. Yeah do in the video game yes. so waste of time let's see we got at your number four number four number four worst movie of 2021 for chris herman over here i'm not a crazy man why are you a vengeful one uh, I mean, we've said everything we, we, we have about Venom 2. Uh, I mean, listen, I have a bias. I already don't like this character from the comics. I think he has a cool aesthetic outside of that. He has zero personality. And yet, even Come when they gave Venom? him... Venom. Even when they gave him a, a new personality, I was like, yep, still didn't like that. It's... Yeah, it... it it doubles down all the things I disliked about that first movie. The dynamic between the symbiote and Eddie Brock, the the general goofiness, and Tom Hardy's performance. I'm like, this is a razzy, like, a, like you know, <laughs> award-winning type of performance. It deserves that ridicule. He's re I can't believe what's happened to him. And this is just the cherry on top of this entire career. Like, I initially liked Tom Hardy. Everybody did. And as it's gone along these last few years, he just likes doing silly voices. Yeah. That's his whole thing, or just overacting. He, he's he's becoming Nicolas Cage. Yeah, I think he's the new Johnny Depp. Oh, I can see that definitely. But yeah, it's um, I yeah, I, I hate what Sony is doing. I hate the fact that they're trying to connect this to other f Marvel franchises. It makes me concerned because they totally are not consistent with each other. All right, Chris. Oh, 
Look at you, man. Now you're getting mad. Mm -hmm. Makes me worried to go to your number three worst of mm -hmm. of 2021. Oh, right. Martin, hold your head. Cover oh, your head. Oh, uh oh, here it comes. <laughs> oh, uh, 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 Louis, you might want to duck over there. <laughs> <laughs> Sitting next to him and seeing how passionate he is. When he's he's very passionate. Oh, thank oh, yeah. you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you might want to scoot back a little bit, man. You might want to go behind Martin over there. Number three yeah. on Chris Herman's list of worst of, of 21, or 2021. First time in history, we're seeing real life superheroes fighting crime. I play dirt. Well, oh, Chris Herman. It's a terrible superhero parody that eventually forgets that it's supposed to be a parody. And it's just, uh, it, it's, it's poorly written. There's no chemistry between the actors. Melissa McCarthy is doing the things we just want her to stop doing because she, as you both have said, she is a talented actor. Um, Octavia Spencer is completely wasting this movie. Bonnie Cannavale is doing what he always does. Uh, yeah, it's a, it's, it's, it's a terrible, another terrible Netflix movie that has come out this year. Winding things down. Yeah, top two. Getting into the top two right here. Mm. Uh-oh. Mm. Uh oh. Mm. 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 <laughs> There's just something that hasn't appeared yet, and I'm wondering where it's going to be. Yeah. Okay. What do you think it's going to be, Martin? Let little Martin guess. Okay, Martin, you want to guess what his number two is? Yeah, it could be number one, but I'm going to go ahead and guess Matrix Resurrection. Some part of you remember what you <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> you got it! <laughs> how much noise the Matrix pumps into your head. Uh, the Matrix mm -hmm. one should have been a, a, a one-off. It yeah. should have, it should just been one movie, and we should yeah. like you know what they just continued having more adventures, trying to free the rest of these people from being human batteries from the squiddies mm -hmm. from the machines. But what we got, it's like it's almost like Lana Wachowski, you know, uh, when she was listening to criticism of the sequels, like it's too much focus on the philosophy, you know, the characters don't make any sense anymore. That you're all about the lore, like you know, like let, now let's get back to just like hey, this really cool setting and these interesting concepts you introduced and these really well developed actions, really, really well choreographed actions. And you went now that i'm gonna double down on all the philosophy i'm gonna go super meta with it the editing is gonna be atrocious so you don't even know what's happening in the action scenes this is i couldn't believe it i was because i had recently watched reloaded and revolutions not too far from when this when this mm. came out and i was like they made a worse they made a worse sequel than those two i couldn't believe this this to me is the worst matrix sequel and and just the miscasting not even know what to do with characters uh i mean having yayu abdul mateen i'm not saying like he's a bad actor but what they have him doing Wasted as Morpheus. None of the gravitas. Just confused as to why, why he's in here. Um, Jonathan Groff is as um, as the new Agent Smith. None of the menace. None of the Mr. Anderson. Like uh, Hugo Weaving. Even as ridiculous as he got later on in the franchise, he still stood out. There was personality. Sure. No personality in this movie. A waste of time. Let's get to our number one movie that Chris Herman hates. Which is why it's his number one worst movie of 2021. Oh. That was Chris Herman. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's, uh, it, 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 it's horrible. There's nothing redeeming about it. There's nothing clever about the gags, the physical gags, because we've seen Tom and Jerry do this stuff and it better. And it just has these human characters that come in that act over exaggerated, try to be cartoons, and mm. they, they're just grating. Yeah. They're just annoying. Like, they, you can't be as good as Tom and Jerry. What are you, <laughs> why are you trying to do that? <laughs> Don't even try. You, you, you look foolish. And this is what this movie is it's foolish. And, you know, I kind of racist. As well, like, I mean, it, it indulges in stereotypes. Like, yeah. why are all the alley cats black? <laughs> why do a white or white or Puerto Rican? Yeah, uh, yeah, and there's no redeeming characters. Even like Chloe Grace Moretz, who's supposed to be the one you you care about, she's just awful. She's a con artist. Yeah, and you're trying to make me feel for her. No, it's 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 a terrible movie, and in my opinion, the very worst movie of 2021. Stop making these executives. Stop making these. All right, people, you heard them. Stop. Okay. Stop, they stop it. They won't fall on deaf ears. <laughs> we'll, we'll stop these Home Alones and Tom and Jerry's yet. <laughs> one day. One day. What, what was one your day. number three movie again? Uh, it, oh God, I forgot. <laughs> Thunder it's, Force. Thunder Force. Thunder, Thunder Force. Force. Okay. Y'all yeah. yeah, been waiting for this ever since Sunday. Have they? They have. And now is Martin's turn Do they to tell care? you. Martin, now it's Martin's turn to say 2021. I, 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 you ain't gone yet. Come here. I got some <laughs> words for you. 
what about this? <laughs> <laughs> Explain yourself. <laughs> yeah. How did you let this happen right here? And this, and this. Oh, wait a minute. I got seven more. And this, and this. It is Martin's top 10 worst movies of 2021. Martin, would you like me to would you like me to uh, start this or you want to get things kicked off? Yeah, you start it. You, okay. Because I... I you know, I don't always remember the order in which I gave you stuff. All right. Well, I'll be more than happy to do that. So, people, as we always do with these lists, we have 10 movies on the list. We start with number 10, working our way up to number one. Therefore, let's go ahead and start with Martin's number 10 worst movie of 2021, which is... Martin, that is Halloween Kills. Yes. Your number 10 movie. Which it was doing to me. Uh, so I, I realized in making out my list, it wasn't always what I thought was the worst, but definitely <laughs> what was the worst as as opposed to the potential it had to be something. Or In that I had every reason to come in with maybe not high expectations, but expectations only for it to fail miserably. Uh, the motivations didn't really make sense. Mm -hmm. The characters did dumb things that was uh, that fought against their their sense of self preservation, uh, hoping to see the continuing saga of Jamie Lee Curtis, only for her to just be stuck in the hospital screaming the whole time. Uh, did we even advance at all? <clears throat> or are we just back to Michael being uh, an unkillable killing machine? Well, you just answer your question, right? <laughs> yeah, I guess so. <laughs> Unkillable killing machine, killing your time, Mark. Killing my time, yeah, yeah. It was just more of a, yeah. If if I'd gone in knowing this would be bad, it'd be like, all right, well, what do you expect? But there was there was every reason for this to be at least decent, if not good, and it was so not. It definitely made my. I, I forgot when I said it made my. I didn't. I forgot to put it on there. But after the show on Sunday, I said, man, that is definitely on my disappointment. Oh, list. absolutely. Yeah, no, that was a big disappointment. I am disappointed in myself that I forgot to put on the list. But there you go. That's number 10. Number 10 is not a not a bad place to be. I guess you know, so. No, you know, <laughs> hey, you still got nine people lower. There's still nine shittier things ahead of you, <laughs> <Yeah>. man. So, <laughs> Woo -hoo. Speaking of which, let's get to that. Some of these I don't even remember, such as your number nine mm -hmm. worst movie of 2021. You're not exactly a department favorite. What? <laughs> hey, you know, man, man, man. Do you have a things probably palette? changed a lot since you left? That's the little thing. So little, I forgot about this I, movie. I know, man. right? I I forgot about it too. I was going through all the movies that came out this year, and when I first did my list, I missed it. And when I came across that, I was like, Oh, where you think yeah. you're going? It's a, man. It's, you know what? It wasn't on my list. I saw some things worse for me, but I'm glad you put it on your list because. You know, even if I don't think this is bad, no movie with Jared Leto and Denzel Washington should be this mediocre. No, exactly. Not not just so mediocre and forgettable, but a mystery that takes you all around the block through the city <laughs> yeah. and the alleys <laughs> and drops you off nowhere. By the time you're in, you're like, so what was that all about again? I, yeah. don't, I don't get it. And yeah, the whole idea of Rami Malek as this, this young hotshot detective, never proven, never in there sloppiest police work I've yeah. ever seen. Yeah. Yeah, it just, it, it's unforgivable. In the <laughs> it's the little things in it's life that hurt. Yep. Yeah. You can sit on top of a mountain, but you can't sit on top of a pen. No, you cannot. That is true, Martin. That is true. <laughs> well, that, that pen went right up your ass, didn't it? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, Martin. All right. Well, let's get to the number eight worst movie of 2021, according to Martin Thomas right here. Are you someone I can trust? We promise absolutes. Act accordingly. Give me something else to worry about. Oh, that is those who wish me dead. I know I know Martin wished him dead. <laughs> yeah, they'll put me on that list. <laughs> oh, Martin, what was going on with this movie? Man, they made a big deal about this movie. I mean, granted, it was the pandemic and nothing had come out for a while, but they made a big deal of, about Angelina Jolie. And they, they were really promoting that Oscar winner Angelina Jolie. <laughs> and then it comes out and some people were like, man, this is like those, those action, action thrillers from the 90s. Mm -hmm. And there's nothing wrong with that. I was like... 
No, there is if you don't fix what the problem was with it. Like the times they get stupid, uh, where you have these two assassins who are killing people when it doesn't even make sense for them to kill people. They're trying to cover their tracks, but they're killing people out in the open. And it's just nothing but a, a string of cliches, one after the other, and most of it doesn't even make sense. Okay. Which I feel like my like the <clears throat> mid, the middle of my list is all movies like that. Okay. I missed it because no one was talking about it. And mm-hmm. It's like, it, it, it was, was bad. It was really, it came out that week and was forgotten in like 48 hours. Sure. So. It, was, it was a big fanfare before <clears throat> it came out, and then once it did, man, shut up about it. All right. Let's go to our number seven worst movie of 2021, according to Martin Thomas. You got it. What the? Well, we've already established this is a movie that I like a lot, but this is not my list. This is Martin Thomas's list, That's and he does right. and he does not like uh, Army of the Dead. I do not like this movie. I mean, once again, but hey, Zack Snyder returning to zombies. This guy made one of the best zombie movies of all time. Yes, and granted, this is not that movie. It doesn't even seem to be in the same universe. It gets stupid pretty early on, and the characters are just they're they're kind of taken from everywhere else. A couple of them are interesting, but the rest is like, all right, you're walking me through this storyline again. And then every time you have a moment to think about what they're doing and why, it doesn't add up. It it does it makes no sense. I could I could get over it if it could just you know wrap up sometime too. But man, you you, you take you got a lot of bad ideas that are being dragged out for yeah. way too long. Well, I can. This is definitely divisive with people. Well, here we are divided here, Martin. Yeah, Martin says this is garbage, and I was like, well, one man's garbage is another man's gold, right here. Well, well I. I appreciate you respecting my opinion. Why would I not? Because that's, that's, that's all these are. These are the movies that I dislike. Yeah, what am I going to get mad about it for? Uh, well, yeah. I'm, I'm going to cuss your ass out when you leave. <laughs> well, for who we think he is. I'm about to watch this shit again. No. no I get it. It's, everybody's got different tastes. Yes. I don't get as passionate as Chris Herman. No, everybody has a list. I respect that. All like right. I said, I have no... I ain't got a problem with people liking and dislike. That's, that's why they're called opinions. God damn it. Yes. Oh. God damn it. But I kind of share my opinion with you on this one right here. The number six worst movie of 2021, according to Martin Thomas. But if he's not a cop, what is he? You know, Jason Statham. Yeah. You know, this is a movie that if I had a top 15, this might have been like 15. And thing is, talk about people being split. A lot of people like this movie. I did not. But a lot of people do. But Martin, why didn't you like it? This is, and by the way, people, this is Wrath of Man. Wrath of Man, uh, or Wrath of Me. Uh, <laughs> it's it's super predictable. It's it's one of those where to have a twist, it goes almost into outer space to to get you to come back around and go, oh, so that's what it is. I there's nothing I, I can't. I hate worse when somebody tries too hard with their twist to make something you can't. Think you you won't guess, yeah. and it's like, yeah, I didn't guess it because that doesn't that's that's dumb. It, it it when it plays out, it doesn't make any sense. But so much of it, of the dialogue is just it's stock. It's it feels less. It's so not a Guy Ritchie movie. It's 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 an early Jason Statham movie. Even he was beyond doing stuff like this. I don't even know if I hated this as much. I don't can't remember if I gave this some bullshit or a uh, uh, rental or a low rental, but I. Yeah, if, if if I had enough spaces, it might have made my list of at least disappointments. It's 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 another one of those movies where, hey man, look if you get it from Redbox and it's an hour and a half, sure whatever. But yeah. this movie goes on for a while. Our number five, worst movie of twenty twenty one, according to Martin Thomas. You took everything from me. I'm gonna make it right. Uh, that is without remorse. <laughs> of which what, Martin had plenty for watching. What these these titles? <laughs> uh, no. they, they just they just tee it up for me. I don't I don't even want to do it. Like, no, nah, this is a trap. I'm not taking the bait. I remember, <laughs> I remember Chris Herman was trying to get this. He was trying to say this. He couldn't remember it. I even had him laugh. But he, he was saying something like, "I ain't got no goddamn remorse." <laughs> <laughs> I have no remorse. <laughs> oh, but you had plenty of remorse for watching this, Martin. I did, I did. And this, and this is disappointing because this is Michael B. Jordan. Sure, sure. And everybody wants to like it because it's Michael B. Jordan. The dialogue's horrible. 
It, it's, 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 it's so poorly written. But just even the script itself, even down to the, oh, the surprise villain that you, you guess yeah. er, early on in the movie to yeah. where it's not a surprise. And the things he, he does are not logical. Like uh, uh, setting somebody's car on fire and sitting in the car with them to interrogate them while the car <laughs> is on fire. This is another one of those just sitting through it thinking like, Maybe it'll pick up. Maybe yeah. it'll start to make sense. And you're like, it's not going to. It, it's, it's not even interested in that. Yeah, this was a big disappointment big for me, Big disappointment. Too. I don't know if I hated it, but I... Oh, there I, he goes. Yep, yeah, there now, he goes. Now, let me ask you some questions. <laughs> <laughs> Man, both of them be cooked in there. Exactly. <laughs> both, of them look like a, both of them look like a couple of Thanksgiving turkeys in there, man. Well, now you've answered, let's go ahead and leave. Yeah. Oh, oh, shit, the, the door is melted. <laughs> Ow, I, I can't even touch it no more. Shit, they would have opened that door and found two pieces of Popeye's fried chicken in there. What the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> Get out of here. All right, let's go to the number four. Oh, yeah. Worst movie of 2021, according to Martin Thomas. Thanks, Josh. Kung La. Mortal Kombat. <laughs> yeah, something we, we it made all of our list. As just that, uh, wow, how is it they did this when they did it 30 years ago as what seemed like a, a half comedy? It, it, it was so much better than this one. Yeah, this was definitely on my list. Yeah, I mean, and, and another one where with the opening, you go like, Hey, that wasn't great, but it shows great potential. And mm-hmm. if you're going to open like this, man, what's coming it's next? Supposed to go up. Uh, and a whole lot of bullshit. Yes. Yes, yes. Where, you know, it, it, it seemed like that was a thing from back, maybe from the 80s, when they take a property and you'd be excited about it, but they make it with some character who's never part of the whole thing. Mm-hmm. And just adding elements that have nothing to do with what you came for. And not even doing him well. It'd be different if that character of Cole Young was really interesting, but he's not. And all, all this to go like, oh, but when we come back, we're going to get to the tournament. I'm just like, no, nah, you already fucked that up. Yeah. Man. No, yeah, what, I, don't, I don't care. What, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Why couldn't we get to the tournament in this movie? Cool opening, though. Very cool opening in the movie, but yeah. yeah, too bad they couldn't follow through with that promise. Let's go to number three. Martin's number three worst movie of 2021. I have tasted blood before, and that is not it. That's bullshit. <laughs> well, you want a Venom movie? <laughs> People, let, let, let there be carnage. Oh, it's a it's an odd couple story and a bromance. It's like... They don't even do that that well, or no. you know, they don't do it that much or that well, um, and you just get sick of them by the end. Plus, I mean, the only good thing about it was that they improved Woody Harrelson's wig. It's like it's just two globs that are fighting. It's like, I, can you just tell me who won when it's over? Because <laughs> this this doesn't mean a thing. Well, like I said, they they don't have a story. They they, they, don't. they repeat. They got three things going on in here: Woody Harrelson snarling, this whole bromance this gay thing going on between Venom and, and, and Eddie and uh, that fight at the end and the rest of that is just going in cycles yeah. like, like I said pull it back tell me what story you got yeah. tell me what you got and I you know I mean I get Venom fans you felt like the Venom from Spider-Man 3 didn't give you the Venom you wanted but I don't see how this one is possibly closer it has no menace it yeah. just it just talks, but um, what he says is oh, dumb. Martin, he's got wonderful laughs and comedy. Sure. <laughs> who, needs, who, needs, <laughs> who needs intimidation when you got comedy, yes. Martin? <laughs> Let's go ahead and get into the number two movie on Martin's worst list of 2021 films. What's all happened here? The Umbrella Corporation's been experimenting on this town since we were kids. People are getting sick. Resident Evil. <laughs> Welcome. To, I almost forgot. forgot. There's so many, many words in here. I was like, what did I start? We go to Raccoon City. Raccoon Welcome to Raccoon City. City. Resident Evil, Raccoon City. Welcome to Ra- Resident Evil. Welcome to Raccoon City. Watch this whole movie, and I didn't see one goddamn raccoon. Some bullshit. Oh, well, there you go, Martin. <laughs> yeah. There was one on the fence. It was a cartoon <laughs> raccoon. Oh, that's right. That's Martin, right. Like, I want real coons up in here. You know, it's funny. Watching that little clip right there, that's the most I understood this. Because the whole time I was watching this movie, I was like, I don't understand what's going on. 
I understand that you just took a bunch of stuff and mashed it together. Yeah. Yeah, so if you don't know the games that well, yeah, you don't know what the hell's going on. I, 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 I mean, you know, it's it's not me. Somebody's like, man, I don't understand video games. Usually they have stories. Man, you you understand what's going on. But with this, just from early on, there's so many little things where I was like, I don't know why he just did that. I don't know why this is happening. And while I don't play the games and know Leon Kennedy, I could tell that what they did with that character was an abomination. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Just throwing in creatures from the games, like mm-hmm. they like y'all blame Paul W. S. Anderson for doing shit like throwing in creatures out of nowhere, but they did in this movie too. Yeah, they just like oh what what are the what do they recognize? There was even one creature where they said we're gonna throw that in, but they realized oh we ain't got time or money to throw that in here, mm-hmm. which would have been better than this because they always show these liquors in these movies, man. Liquors, huh? Yeah, that's what they call yeah liquors. They is it they lick their lips or because they got long tongues that they use to decapitate people. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's cool in the game, <laughs> in the movie. You know, Take you don't see none of this shit. <laughs> oh, people, the final countdown. <laughs> oh, I am all powerful. Did I get screened my groin? Oh, Martin, that is mm. what was on everybody's list. I think. Uh, yeah, yeah, it made it on everybody's list at some point. Thunder Force. It, it almost got usurped by. Uh, by Raccoon City, because I forgot about Raccoon City. I was like, oh, that's my least favorite. Then I kind of looked back at this. I was like, no, 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 still number one. Still number one. Um, yeah, the, is for all the, like, there's too many superhero movies. If we're going to show them what's what and, and, and take the piss out of them. It's like, no. All uh-huh. you did was make people want real superhero movies. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, it's, it's, it's hard to watch Octavia Spencer in a comedy playing the straight woman to just... What is buffoonery? Yeah. And having it to, to. Hey, everyone, support our Patreon, which helps us to continue bringing you our live streams, videos, and podcasts while bringing you new content such as exclusive live streams and animated shorts. 